Here's what you missed last time on Exposed. For this film, we followed Angie Payne on her three-year-long project in Rocky Mountain National Park. This, this, problem the industry. this problem had worked its way deep into Angie's psyche. And we wanted to try and show that mental struggle in the movie. A couple days later, Kevin and Angie headed back up to the park for a late season attempt on the project. All right, I'll try one more time. It's like 7.45 a.m. We've got breakfast burrito, we're heading to the office for a long day of editing. It's hard to believe it's been a year since we began planning for Exposure Volume 1. We've spent countless hours over the past several months prepping, hiking, filming, and editing. So this is our uh, gear room and server room. This is our server right here. And essentially that's where we store all of our media. So we get back to a shoot and we'll throw it on the server and then that way multiple computers can access all our data. Uh, we've also got all of our gear in here. The Red Epic, the Red One, a couple still cameras, um, our charging station, and that's where we keep everything. With all the filming complete, we had to make a final editing push to make the deadline for our premiere. November 1 is coming up. Yeah, it is. Like 10 days. And get a feel for maybe what needs the most love, what right. needs the most attention. There's a lot of grunt work behind the scenes. Organizing mountains of footage, writing emails, making phone calls, writing scripts, and slowly refining the story are all part of the process. So once we've got the footage on the server, uh, we bring it into our timeline here, and this is where we do all the editing in the editing room. Our timeline, as you can see, is pretty big, pretty complicated. We just finished sound, we're just making some final tweaks. And from there we start color correction, do our audio correction, and then hope for a final export. Right now I'm calibrating the monitor for color. We're going to do our final color pass on the film. I don't know, I put this spider thing on and it's uh, doing its thing, I guess. The power just went out. We're like trying to export the film. It's like a week out and the power's out. <laughs> Two server errors already today and then power cut out after the third attempt. <sighs> this is so heinous, dude. Rocky's law, man. Power's back on, so we're gonna try to export again, but it takes like five hours to do it, so. So hopefully we get it this time. We pre-screened the film for one of our national sponsors in hopes of getting some final feedback before the premiere. Alright, thank you all for coming. My name is Kyle Compass. I'm the uh, director of Action Sports at Chuck Fabricator Films. And we're here to show you our newest climbing film. So don't mind the beginning, middle, or end. <laughs> With that, let's get started. Kind of been able to rock climb almost pretty much full time for about the past three years now, three or four years, so it's been pretty cool. Being able to share the psych and inspiration with our friends and community makes all the hard work worthwhile. This is the first installment of the Exposure series. We're going to be doing one of these every single year. Enjoy the film. Thank you.